Hey guys, my name's Camille. I'm your new TA. I hope you guys have seen my message on the collaboration board. It has all my contact information. If you guys ever have questions, want to schedule a tutoring session, or whatever it may be, feel free to contact me. Um, I'm making this video because as I've been going through quizzes and some tests that have already been submitted, I've noticed that a lot of you have struggled with the mesium. So the epimesium, the perimesium, the endomesium. Um, and they're really easy to get confused if you can't orientate yourselves to the slide. So I'm hoping that through this video, you'll be able to orient yourselves enough to know the different mesiums. And I hope it doesn't confuse you. And I hope that we don't have too many difficulties with the technology because I have never done this before. So we're all in for a new adventure. Okay, let me see if I can share my screen with you guys. Here it is. Okay, and then present. Okay, hopefully it loads. Okay, so we're already gonna talk about the mesiums. So I like to start by the definitions because it helps me keep them in order when I'm labeling them. Um, so epi means upon or on top. So this is your most external layer. It's the closest to the surface. Um, peri means around. Um, it's near middle. Um, it's like your middle layer. Um, in order to like remember that it means around, I think Perry the platypus, spinning some verb. Anyways, that doesn't really help you with this, but it will help you with other classes. So if you want to memorize what Perry means. Um, and endo is your most internal layer. So I just think like you've hit the end of the line, you can't go any further, you're you're in. Okay, um, here's another view of the slides that you've been seeing. Um, so sometimes it helps me if I can't really understand it, if I like see it from another view and then I can orient myself. Um, so you can see that we have, I'm gonna get a pointer. We have this epimesium that is like around everything. So it's the most external, it's around everything. And then we can see that we have these fascicles. So these like bundles of cell fibers or of these, muscle cells, muscle fibers. So it's just a bundle of them. And around each of these fascicles is um, your perimesium. So it's in the middle. And then each of your fascicles is made of these muscle cells. Um, and so there's multiple muscle cells in a muscle fiber. And around each muscle cell is your endomesium. So let's see how this applies to your um, slides that we've been viewing this week. So I found this really good picture online um, that I really like that I think helps orient us to the slides and gives us the directions. So we learned that East epimesium um, goes around everything. And so in this slide, it is the blue and it is gonna go around all our fascicles and all of our um, muscle cells. And then if we look closely, we can see that there's these little dividing lines that like make these bundles right here. So these are our fascicles, these little bundles. You can follow these lines. Um, and then inside of each of these fascicles, we can see these individual cells. And we can tell that these are like individual cells because if you look, there's little nucleuses. These little dots are your nucleuses. So we have our epimesium that goes around everything. And then we have these little dividing lines between our bundles. That's our perimesium up layer. And then our yellow ones, um, those are just the specific muscle cells, the ones that are nucleated. Um, so this um, is kind of another version of this last slide. So if we look closely, we can see these like bundles right here is a bundle. Here is a bundle. So you can see all these little like bundles. So each of these bundles um, are these fascicles and around fascicles are perimesium. So if you're looking at something and you can see bundles, probably you're gonna be your perimesium. So, I mean, not your, yeah. Your bundles are gonna be your fascicular fascicles, and then like the perimesium is around that. If you look really closely, you can see these like individual cells, um, and around those is gonna be your endomesium, and then around like all of it would be your epimesium. Um, this is kind of a difficult slide, but if you can orient yourself with these fascicles, it helps a little bit. So here's another view. 
and it helps me to orient myself if I if the in these slides if I can tell that the nucleuses are big I know that I'm super zoomed up so I'm on I'm looking specifically at a muscle cell so this is a muscle cell right here and around muscle cells is endomesium so a lot of good ways to orient yourself is to see like do I see a lot of little nucleuses or am I seeing like one giant nucleus because in this it would be really easy to be like oh it's really zoomed out each of these tiny things is a like muscle cell muscle cell but if you look for the nucleus you can tell you're really zoomed in therefore this is endomesium and then around all of this would be the perimesium because we're in a fascicle right now and then if we got even farther out we can see the epimesium again same on this side um you just find the nucleus so we know that we're in a this, that this is a cell and around cells is our endomesium um and then on this one the we can orient ourselves to know that this is a cell and that this right here is going to be our fascicle so we know around this structure would be endomesium around this structure would be perimesium and if we zoom out it'd be epimesium again um on your quizzes and such they'll have lots of things that point to things that are sometimes hard to tell what you're pointing to um and sometimes people get confused if they are asking you for a perimesium or a fasciculus or fascicle i don't know what this is anyways don't mind me i can't talk um but if they are asking for a um the fascicle they will put a circle around it and they'll be like name this structure but if they're looking specifically for the perimesium they'll just put an arrow towards it so a would be your fascicle c would be the perimesium because if you look it's going around this fascicle and then b it's pointing specifically to a little cell so we know that's the endomesium so hopefully that helps you orient yourselves um same thing on this if they want the fascicle they will put a circle around it and if they want a different layer like a perimesium in this example they will ask they will just put an arrow so perimesium is that fascicle i hope this helps if you guys have any questions or clarifications that i can make please contact me i do want to help i hope this video didn't confuse you anymore anyways hope you guys have a good week and good luck on your quizzes